The opinions in this video are strictly the opinions of someone that's been fishing heavily for a year and a half. Fishing his whole life, but only fishing heavily and really getting into artificials for a year and a half. So take the opinion of the creator of this video with a grain of salt. Also, remember that the creator of this video is clearly biased of the color green. Thank you. Cue my music. What's up, guys? A little bit different of a video, but I did a video a couple months back uh, about the Guggen Squad finesse rod. That video got quite a few likes and a lot more views than my typical fishing videos. So I figured I'm going to try to do something a little bit similar to that. <laughs> what we're going to talk about today is square bill crankbaits. We're talking specifically the Guggen Squad banger. Okay, And I have a couple different colors. This is my particular favorite. This is the this is the ghost gill there we go see that little chartreuse butt on it this thing looks very similar to what most of the ponds have for bass feed and that's bluegill um, they look just like it with that little chartreuse tail Look at that. Even the pumpkin seeds want the ghost kill. They can't, they can't help it. Beautiful little, I think this is a pumpkin seed uh, sunfish, but you know, it's a bluegill. But you can see how their tail has that chartreuse on it. Also, we have a craw looking one. Some of these I can't remember their colors, but this might be Alabama craw, but I, I, I'm probably wrong about that. But this one, this one's a good, like, rock, uh, somewhere where you know there's definitely crawfish, and it's usually like rocky creeks. And then another one that looks very similar to a bluegill, but also like a shad, is this one, and I think this one is something shad. I'm not, not really sure the name of the color specifically, but anyway. I believe that when it comes to pond hopping, this is the ultimate crankbait. So when you're pond hopping, you don't really know, unless the, the pond's crystal clear, you don't really know what the bottom of the pond looks like. Well, the nice thing about this crankbait is it bounces along the bottom off that nice square bill. And you can pretty much feel what's going on in there. And if you keep it moving, it goes like this and it wiggles this little butt, it only gets hung up. It only gets hung up on stuff right on the front here. And if you give it a quick pull, everything goes over the top of it. And the hooks stay like this. So you get a feel for what the bottom is. By the way, this is only two to five foot depth. And when they say two to five feet, that means your rod tip. If you have the rod tip all the way down, you're talking five foot. Weed eating. Nice. Anyways, if you have your rod tip down, this will go down to at least five feet. And if you have your rod tip up, it'll only be two feet. Sometimes, if I know there's a lot of grass, I'll point my rod tip way high and this sucker will almost stay on the top. That's what's so nice about a square bill crankbait. Please don't. Oh. Thank you, sweet pea. Thank you. I needed you. <laughs> Whoa, you got hooked crazy. Skinny. I need to get shiners back in here. 
You're hungry, huh, babe? She's super long, super skinny. All right, guys, so that's what I'm telling you. It's all about the banger. I took that and I ran it down this grass line and she was hiding in that grass line and she came out and smacked it. I gotta get more fish into this pond. Like, but the thing is, I can see bluegill all swimming in here. You know, why aren't you eating? You're so skinny, girl. All right, let's let's put you in nice and gentle, like, because you just you need to gain. You you got the frame, you got the frame of a three pounder, but you you got the gut of a one. There you go, nice and easy. The banger, banger. You know, it just because there's a lot of grass in a pond doesn't mean you can't maneuver the banger around it. You just gotta pay attention to your rod tip. You want that rod tip high, and then when you're out in the middle, you want it down low. You guys will love the banger. Square bill crankbait, the best pond hopping lure on the planet. Crankbait. You guys gotta have it in your pond hopping backpack. I'm not a big fan of lipless, but I honestly haven't given the lipless a real good chance. I really like square bills because it kind of acts as a guard, not just a dive. Very big fan of it. I've kind of discovered it this summer, which everything I've heard, you want to go low as in deep and slow. You know, big worms, you know, stuff like that. But I have found when it comes to pond hopping, this guy does the trick. Because a lot of ponds you fish are probably only about 10 feet deep, 15 feet deep. This guy will get in the middle of the water column of the, of the deep water, and it'll also run parallel to structures uh, near, the, near the, uh, the shallows, like uh, up against a bank near uh, bushes and stuff like that you keep it about two feet out and the bass will think it's a little guy swimming by and they'll rush out from underneath the bushes and grab this sucker i've had quite a bit of luck with this this summer and i would suggest to you if you have a pond hopping backpack you need to have one of these guys in here and i would suggest go skill thanks guys for watching we'll see you next time Thank you.